Hi everybody, Michelle from SangriaSisters.com. I know I usually only record an entry uh, once a month or so, um, but tonight I did the first workout for the Couch to 5K um, Week 4 um, segment, and I really wanted to share what my thoughts are, were on it. Um, it was raining tonight, and uh, it was fun to run in the rain. I really enjoyed it. I had a ball cap on for some of it, and I had a sweatshirt on for a lot of it, and I just got so hot, and I was there by myself, um, so I was like, ah, do away with the sweatshirt and wearing this body shapewear kind of thing, but who the heck cares, really? I Nobody's there. It's okay, and if anybody was there, it's okay if I'm running in what looks to be a tight tank top, um, but that's kind of the old fat girl mentality of, ooh, they're judging me, or maybe that's not such a fat girl thing. Maybe that's just an everybody thing. Um, anyway, it was really challenging. There are a couple intervals where you need to do um, jogging sec sections for a half a mile. And I was really intimidated about having to do that. Um, last week was hard. It got progressively not easier, but more doable as the week went along. This week I was really intimidated about this whole week four thing. Um, it just seemed like a big leap to go from doing a lap to around the track to two, tra two laps to equal a half mile. So anyway, um, I did it. Let me just cut to the chase and say I did it, which I, I really shocked myself. I did not think I was going to make it through the evening. Um, I hit a wall a few times um, and had a hard time pushing through it, but I did. Um, you know, one of the things that I kept thinking about um, as I was doing this is all the different one mile runs I had to do when I was in elementary, middle, and high school. Um, I don't know if they still do the presidential fitness test. Um, my daughter Kay hasn't, um, I mean, I think they get timed on it and stuff, but I don't know if it's under the guise of the presidential fitness. Anyway, um, we had to do it, and it was always kind of a big competition, and, um, you know, and I was always the last one to finish. Um, and it got to be, I was so disheartened about it in, in elementary school and middle school. It got to the point in high school where I didn't even start off jogging. I just started off walking. I didn't even, I didn't give a rip. I knew I wasn't, I was, it was going to be too hard. Um, I didn't want to try. It seemed like it would be a way cooler thing to just have an attitude and walk the whole thing. <laughs> so that was my approach. Um, not exactly the wisest of choice choices, but, um, I had a really hard time with it, and I always felt like the gym teachers were being extremely judgmental about it. Um, you know, I had gym teachers that, you know, coach sports on the side and stuff, and I always felt like the gym class reject. So part of this feels a little bit like I'm seeking vindication. Um, even though I only did half-mile intervals tonight, when you add it up, I did jack a mile, um, and down the road, I will jog a mile. I know that. I believe that. If I can do a half mile now, I know I can build up the stamina to do um, to do a full mile. Um, but it, as I was doing it, um, and I kept hitting those walls where your calves are burning and you feel like you just can't get enough air into those lungs, um, I thought a lot about that. And I thought a lot about the feelings associated with um, not being able to achieve those goals and expectations um, and, and what what all that felt like. And honestly, by the end of tonight's workout, it made me want to cry a little. Um, it's, you know, it's such a simple, um, it's such a simple sport. Um, I don't, it's not very complex, you know. I'm running around in circles. All you need are sneakers um, and maybe a timer and an eye shuffle. But you don't need all of that. You need sneakers. That's about it. Um, and I'm struck with just how much of an impact, um, or how powerful it is, uh, in terms of your mental engagement. Um, gosh, what it must be to have the mind of a marathoner or Ironman or triathlete, whatever. Um, maybe I'll be one someday. I don't know. I, I, I don't know that I, I just keeps creeping in. No way. You know, those are the thoughts that are screaming at me as I'm saying that is no way kidding no way you're gonna be able to do that so um yeah I don't know it's just it's a very cool experience it's very powerful I mean you're alone in your thoughts you may have music on but those thoughts that come to you and, or that you choose um you choose what to focus on um, when I'm having those negative thoughts I have the power to say no 
We're not going to spend time focusing on those negative things. We're going to change that attitude a little bit. And of course, the running gets easier when I do that. Um, the more uh, negative I tend to be, the more pain, physical pain my body seems to feel. And I guess there's research out there about that too. Um, so it was, anyway, it was just, it was a really powerful experience. Um, I kept trying to envision what it would feel like to finish the 5k at the end of this. And, um, you know, when I set off to do it, you know, months ago, I was able to walk four or five miles at a time. Um, actually, probably like six months ago, I was able to do that. And I don't think I fully understand just how physically challenging this would be for me to do. I was doing one of the laps and thinking to myself, whose dumb idea was this? You know, of course, it's totally mine. Um, I, But it's extremely exerting. I mean, it... Oh. I'm, I'm pretty worn. Um, but yeah, it's not to the point where I feel like I've hit that wall where I, I need to stop. It's definitely not to that point. It's more mental than anything. It really is. So um, that's what my experience so far has been. This is my first entry that's really focusing on Couch to 5K. But I'm going to try to record more segments about this because I want to be able to look back at the end and say, hey, wow, came a long way, baby. <laughs>